I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood to look at all of the locations for the Halloween Horror Nights 2024 mazes and talk about the speculation app that just came out from HM Nightmares. So why don't you join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. It's pretty cool for this weekend. You can actually sit in the voice chair over here um, and you can take a picture. It's completely free. It is in City Walk. You press the button and you turn. That is pretty cool to see. Um, wow, I mean, I might just do it, but I am alone, so as sad as that sounds. But that is pretty cool. Uh, and then, oh, you get a free some free merch. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, horror fans, the goal for today in the park is to look at all the locations for the mazes this year and talk about the speculation map. Now, if you guys didn't know, there is this Twitter account called HN Nightmares that makes a speculation map every year for the event. Of course, these are speculations, so it doesn't mean these are for sure coming to the event this year. However, Sometimes they get them right. So let's go in the park and see each thing that is on the map and let's talk about them. Now, this year they have done it a little differently. There is mainly just images of things that represents some significance of an IP or one of the original mazes. Um, I'll show you guys when we get in the park, but let's go in there and start looking at the locations and talk about the speculation map. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've noticed a lot that Universal's truly trying like to push people getting more annual passes, um, souvenir cups, all the things that go throughout the whole year. Uh, I don't know what the reason for that. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section down below. But you know, now there's there's people that are starting to shout like, "Oh, come get your annual pass! Here's the comps that you get and all like that." But I don't remember any of that happening beforehand. If that's something newer, you guys let me know. But I don't know. Like, it's to me, in my opinion, it's very, um, it's very interesting to do it that way. Um, of course, it's not like the fault of any of the workers here. I mean, they're just doing their job and all that. But like, I don't know. Just like it, it feels very much like salesmen and. I don't know, I, I would assume the other amusement parks do it too, but I don't know, it, it, I don't like it that much. But you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you're starting to notice it more and more. Right. And I have stopped here by Parisian Square because again, this will be a location used for Horror Nights. Now let's talk about the speculation, the image that we see on the speculated map right now. If you guys look, it looks like it is some sort of flower, so when the Hauntline and Entertainment Connection and I were talking about that. A lot of us were speculating, and people on Twitter also. This is going to be a Frankenstein maze over here. Frankenstein's monster. You know, think about all of the universal monster mazes we have gotten beforehand. They have never really focused just on Frankenstein's monster. So I think this would be a perfect time to do that. Kind of like a prequel to what they've created beforehand. And why we're guessing the flower it connects to Frankenstein is because we know that he gives Rosie, I believe is her name, um, a flower, like a dandelion. And um, they're throwing it into a lake, which is really cool. It's a very cute scene. And then, well, Frankenstein kind of takes it overboard. But um, this is the speculated Frankenstein monster's house over here. I think that would do very well if we focused in on him go back to the story, the OG story. We've seen Dr. Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster beforehand, but we've never seen their storyline by itself. Frankenstein house, maybe? We'll have to wait and see. All right, so we are here by the UB venue or the um, old Walking Dead, all the attraction venue. Now, what we have as a speculation here, the photo that we see or the image that is on the spec map is actually the Cadillac symbol. Now, what cars are Cadillacs? Well, the most common one is the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. It is a Cadillac. A lot of people are starting to speculate, and it was a speculation before even the spec map came out, that the 
Ghostbusters was going to return this year for HHN. Ghostbusters being inside a soundstage sounds like such a great idea, especially Ghostbusters when we had it here last time. It was such a great house. And now the fact that it could be inside a soundstage, I think is a wonderful idea. Now, Murdy did say that we are not getting any returning mazes this year, which is interesting to me, but also sometimes ah, I don't believe the guy. I think he's just uh, he's trying to throw us in a loop, you know? That's, uh, he has fun doing that, but... Um, I think we're going to get a form of the old Ghostbusters maze that we had, but also maybe a little connection to the new movie that is coming out in just a couple of days. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Or maybe we'll get Ghostbusters 2 as the maze. I don't know. I have a feeling it might depend on how this new movie does. If it does well, maybe we'll get that as the maze. But look, I think it's going to be great. You can totally turn this place to look more and more like the uh, Ghostbuster station, the fire station. I mean, you can even make this building right here look like the fire station and pull out the Ghostbuster sign. I think that'd be a great way to change up this facade a little bit. So what do you guys think? Ghostbusters returning, is that a great idea, bad idea? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. So we have stopped by over here by Honey Duke because it is completely closed off, as you guys can see, because there is going to be a preparation for Florian's Fortescue's ice cream inside this store. It's gonna be a brand new ice cream shop where you can get a bunch of different flavors. If I remember, there's going to be butterbeer ice cream, green apple ice cream, some toffee ice cream. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, there is one already located in Orlando right now. So we're just gonna get the same thing in this shop over here. And I think that's gonna be cool. Uh, I can't wait to try it. You know, especially right now, it's considered the Butterbeer month. So if you want your Butterbeer, get it now. This is like the month to get it. Uh, and I can't wait to try the Butterbeer ice cream. I mean, look, if it tastes like the drink in ice cream form, I'm so in. Now for our next area for HHM speculation based off the map, we have over here with the Mummy Cube. Now the first symbol that we see on the first edition of the map produced by HN Nightmares is a what looks to be a mute sign right now a lot of people are starting to speculate that that would mean we might have a quiet place house placed down here by the mummy Q. that would be cool to see i do like quiet place i do like the first one i've only seen the first one so that is currently the speculation over here by the mummy Q. Again, remember, these are just speculations, so we'll have to wait and see if they actually become true. Um, they might change also over time. But first speculation by the Mummy Q is The Quiet Place. I think it's a great movie. It's a, it's a thriller. It, it could be totally turned into a maze for sure. So look, we just gotta wait and see if that stays. What do you guys think? The Quiet Place as a maze, is that good for 2024? Let me know. In this location, we also have the view of Soundstage 22. Now, speculation for over here, there is a, what looks to be a skull with two fangs, and the fangs look pretty big in my opinion. A lot of people have been speculating it's gonna be some sort of Dracula house, um, Dracula maze. Since there is also a film reel, we know that it's supposed to be an IP. There is also the speculation that's going to be The Voyage of the Demeter. That movie came out last year. In my opinion, I don't think it's a big enough IP for the event, but it could be a very, very beautiful maze if they use that. And they could make it scary. I have yet to see the movie, but I've heard that some people very much enjoy it. So there is that speculation of The Voyage of the Demeter to be over here. However, I think this speculation that we see on the map right now is a little bit off. What I'm speculating about is this will be another original maze, maybe one that we've seen in Orlando before, and that is called the Yeti Maze. We've had that in Orlando. It was a fan favorite out there, and I think it would do really well in Hollywood. I would love to see that come to this um, park, come to our event. Um, you know, also the, you know, the, the image is just, it kind of looks like it could be a Yeti's skull with 
the, the fangs, the, the big old teeth that Yetis have. Um, so that's my speculation. I think in a sound stage, it would do so well, just like in Orlando. They can make it cold in there. They can work on the smells, the special effects. The interior design could be absolutely beautiful. So I want that to happen, but that is my speculation that we're actually gonna get a Yeti maze over here. Now the speculation for behind Transformers, the T-pad over here, the area that you see the wood right there, the symbol that we got was actually what looks like to be an insect, more like a grub. Now, what I guessed right away, what I thought it would be, is maybe an exterminator's maze over here. You know, we had Larry Larva last year on the Terror Tram. They were making the Scrooge, um, and he very much was turning everybody into insects. And there was a scene, the hatchery, if I remember, in the Terror Tram that was filled with grubs. So, are we gonna be getting an Icon house, finally? I know we don't really talk about icons out here in Hollywood, but can we be seeing our own kind of icon finally get a maze? We've had Hollywood Harry, now we have Larry Larva. Could we get that? I think that would be really awesome if that comes true. That would be really cool. I always wanted a icon maze. And I think, you know, people didn't really enjoy for some reason the Terror Train with Larry Larva. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I liked the idea that they were going for. And I think that idea would actually work if it were made into a maze. Kind of like what they had in Orlando's Bugs Eaten Alive. That one was really cool. Um, we could get something like that over here, I think. So what do you guys think? A Larry Larva house or an exterminator's house Cool or not cool? What do you guys think? Let us know. So right now we are by Soundstage 15 and hopefully you guys can hear me, but this is currently an unknown IP. We don't know if it's a film. We don't know if it's going to be original, but this is an unknown IP right now. That also could mean that we might be getting another music maze, music house over here where it's an artist. We had the weekend already. A lot of people have been talking about Alice Cooper because of John Murdy's tweets about Alice in Wonderland. So we just have to wait and see. But currently, this is an unknown IP house. What are you guys speculating? This has been some big hitters in a couple of years, especially we had Stranger Things last year and then the weekend the year before. So are we gonna get another big hitter? All right, so that's gonna be it for my time here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, yeah, so construction for Horror Nights has kind of stalled a little bit, it looks like. Of course, whenever I say that, it'll be like the next day they'll start changing things up. Um, but we've gone through speculation map number one. If there's another one that comes out later on, we'll do the same thing. If you guys enjoy this, make sure to hit that like button and also let us know what are your own speculations for HHN 2024. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we post a video. We've got social media, that is T-L-E-V media all across the board. So make sure to follow all of those accounts. Everything's in the links in the description down below. With all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. E and I'll see you guys in the next extraordinary adventure.